All right, here we are at the long jump practice problem. And so I'm gonna give you some hints here. The answers are down there at the bottom, so go ahead and just check yourself on those. If you want some hints, here we go. Page nine, the long jumper jumps. We don't know the initial velocity, but we do know the time. That's very helpful if you know the time because that makes our problems a little easier to solve. So what you're gonna do for this one is you're gonna move into the y direction and you're gonna use equation number two in which case you don't know V naught, but you know theta and T and the acceleration in the Y direction because they're in free fall, projectile motion. So go ahead, do your little bit of algebra, solve for that V naught. So you're gonna add this 4.9 T squared over, divide the T, divide the sine of theta, and you have your V naught. Store that value, store that number in your calculator because you are gonna need it for part B and C. In part B, we're looking for how far did they jump? So now that I know the initial velocity, I can plug that into my equation number two in the x direction and figure out how far I went. Now that I know my initial velocity from part A, I can also find my maximum height in the y direction by using equation number three. There's your hints.